A. Eugenio, A. Eugenio Suarez. Eugenio Suarez yeah. There's not too many guys in a league that we played against that are still going. Right. He's one of them. And he's got one of the prettiest right-handed swings. But you don't see ever. <laughs> not from the, the right game. side. You don't see that level of smoothness from, from a right hand. It just doesn't happen. Exactly. And he has been really good for the Snakes. Good vibes only. Everyone loves being around this yeah. guy. Seattle could probably use you think so? some bombs in there. No, they're not looking for any know. power over there. So I want to dive in on him and give him some love because he's doing some things a little bit differently, actually a lot bit differently from his time in Cincinnati. Every uniform the Snakes put on is a home run right now, and yep. he's hitting bombs. He's got 22 since July 7th. But pause this real quick. Bring up the first board of his stats since July 7th. Take a look at this. Yo. 22 homers. He's slugging 705 first and first, respectively. His weighted runs created plus are 187. He's almost two people hitting right now. Two really nice players. And his F war, Robert, I don't yeah, need to tell yeah. you what fan we don't need to war tell is all about. F -war. Three and a half. He's fourth. But I don't think people truly realize this one of the most prodigious home run hitters of this current generation right here because I'm going to flash you back to 2019 with Cincinnati. Let's go. He hit 49 bombs this year. And he still kind of north of 30 a couple and he times. still slid under the radar at the time. You're like man this is going to be one of those one off season where this guy just out of nowhere hits almost 50 home runs and then he'll fall off the face of the earth and we never hear about him again like he's still getting better right now. Yeah so that's a gorgeous hack right there run that back for me real quick because I want people to soak in the setup and we'll side by side him with him, him currently right now. Take it all the way back. Pretty stock setup, kind of got that. We were talking about yeah. it back in edit. Kind of turns his front knee in. Run this. Run it slow. Gets to a nice, powerful position. Pause. I mean, that's what you're trying to accomplish, right? Weight on the inside of the back knee. Back hip yeah. kind of coiled up. He's ready to explode. I'm always trying to ball. launch right here. Always looking at that belt buckle too. By by hitters, when you see them get that true coil. This coil right here reminds me of my Justin Upton days. Yeah. Jeff was one of my teammates. He was always we get in the cage and he was always making sure that belt got turned Robbie back towards Cano the catcher. Was big on that. And I was I was I've always found myself square and pushing forward. The more I could yes. build that belt tuck back towards the catcher, it allowed me to stay on that backside so much easier. Hey, bring up the third baseman, Broyd, the home runs. Most home runs by a third baseman, single season MLB history. A Rod hit 54 in 2007. And this then it's is crazy. Suarez hit 49 in 2019. Harmon Killebrew, A Rod again, Beltre, Mike wow. Schmidt. I mean, let's go back. Even in the Seattle days, when you're putting up these type of numbers, are you okay taking a few strikeouts with that? Yep. You know, I think when you have this kind of potential in there, the challenge for the team should be you know what? Let's find a way to hone it in just a little bit. Maybe not get close to 200 punch outs. If we can yeah. hone this in a little bit, this guy can be one of the best players in baseball. Let's not give up on him. All right. Let's go. Get back into it. Because there he is. And I want to take you to July 7th, because this is when he takes Dylan C. Steve. Pause that. He's got. This is July 7th. Look at his numbers. I would be debating do I careen off off this overpass on the ride home. Stop tonight. it right now. 205 with 6 and 34. I'm running out of time. My season's in the toilet. <laughs> and he decided from that day forward to hit 22 tanks. He's now got 28 yeah. and 95, I believe. That's panic time right now. That would be panic that's time. That's panic time. If you're a power hitter, that's, that's panic time. He doesn't panic. He's got a perfect beard working. He's got his hair perfect. <laughs> Run this. Dylan Seath, July 7th, tries to throw a heater away. He leaves it middle in, and he short arms it. Bang! See you later. And it has been a steady diet of him going deep repeatedly over and over again. I'm going to take you show to Imanaga a B get me over breaking ball that he misses heater in misses 2 0 you gonna throw him a heater middle cut yep I'm a smidge late are you throwing it again that's what Imanaga does he's not late to this one and right there all he did was fix his timing that's it you can see he was trying to make to, to set his leg kick off of Imanaga's movement and he was a little bit late and he made the adjustment on the next pick How about Josh Hader September 8th. Slider down and in, waves at it, getting the same pitch, non-competitive, spits on it, 1-1, one, one, 
Give me a heater. I'm a little late on it. Everyone's late on Josh Hader's heater. Throw it again. Got him. He's not missing. That's pitch to pitch adjustments right there. Right? It's nice to see. And it's continued. Wow. So run, exactly. We're going to get a side by side together, but run this back. This is him now. And just soak this all in. Take it all the way back to that front foot being down. Even a little more. Even more. There you go. And watch him coil into the back hip. He's front sides open now. Pause. I mean, he's really setting that back leg. Huh? The Got initial mode in. It's almost like he sets up slightly open with the hips to make sure he's really feeling that initial move being yeah. that hip turn and getting himself in a good position to fire. Run this. And he's just launching off that backside right Not there. gaining a ton of ground going forward. His hips are never sliding. Everything's here, bang, turn. And he's hammering the off-speed stuff. This is an A-B against Charlie Morton, July 10th. Charlie Morton's known for having one of the best breaking balls in the entire sport, but he also can run 94 to 95 mile an hour two seamers in on you. Three, two count right here. Spins him a breaking ball in the middle of the plate, and he's all over it. And he was That's ready. hard to do. He was ready to fire at everyone before that. Right? He's really? able to recognize and spit it on at the last second, no matter what it looks like. How about Michael Waka? Anyone dove in on Kansas City starting rotation? Michael Waka has been one of the better pitchers in the game the entire year. Known for a heater and tunneling the changeup, four seam over the top. It's tough to pick him up. He throws a changeup right here. It gets oh. slaughtered. Oh. D. Rowe, the more we watch these at bats, the more I see that he really has a zone that he locks into. Pause this. Bring up the slug versus non-fastball, and then we'll get into all of it. Slugging percentage leaders versus non-fastball. Listen, he's pounding everything, but when yeah. you dive in on the non-fastball -fast stuff, Vladdy Guerrero, Otani, Eugenio Suarez, and on down the line. <laughs> Friend of the show, Matt Walner. So just bring up the side-by-sides of him back in 19. hitting. He hit 49 this way. But the adjustments you make has your you know, your career progresses five years later. Where were you going, CY? I don't know where I was going because I'm so locked in on this swing right here, but when I look at the difference of 19 and 24 right there, if we go back just to the setup, just for a second, go back to the setup, but you can see the small adjustment in 2024, we can move forward just a little bit. He really presets, he's working on presetting those hands just yes. a little further back. Granted, when he gets to fire, he's going to be in the same position. But if I can eliminate that extra movement with the hands, which you're talking to a lot of hitting coaches right now nowadays, you're trying to get guys to move these hands from right here to where you have to move them back to launch, to go ahead and set them Start in that them. launch position and trying to keep them there the entire time. There's no need to take them back any further than where they're starting. You have them right there, and then you get in your position and you're firing off your backside. These are just riding the wave at that point. God, I, I could never. I'd have to relearn everything you could. to ride the wave and not think my hands are the most important thing. My dad was the complete opposite. He, I come, he'd come home from work and bounce me racquetballs. He'd be like, your hands are going to bail you out in the end. So I don't know this type of he's hack. Just, he's just, just rotating, d -Row. Turn. He's just rotating, d -Row. It's not even thinking of throwing your hands at the ball anymore. Yeah. It's literally getting them in position, and when you're turning, that's what's bringing your that's what's bringing your hands through, and that's what give me the you know, heat maps right now. real quick. I think we dive in on the heat maps real quick. Take a look at this from the catcher's perspective. What he's doing right, slugging percentage by zone. And yesterday, if you watch those two homers, they're both down and away off speed stuff. I mean, basically, right now you got to elevate or you got no chance against him. When you Go. see this, this feels like you're giving away a scouting report. <laughs> Postseason, you better <laughs> elevate the eater. You better believe you know what he's getting in the postseason. Yeah. And then the heat map, everyone's attack. Listen, everyone's going to attack you down and away with the off speed stuff. He's on it, though. He's been really good. Arizona, you look at their lineup. Call, talk about dangerous lineups on down with Christian Walker in there to wait Corbin Carroll. You know who fire. slugs more than the Diamondbacks? Tell Marte. In baseball? Nobody. Nobody. Yeah.